What a stupid question that is. What a stupid question. But I watch you a lot. You ask a lot of stupid questions. What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here. Welcome you back to the channel for another dope, informative video. Basically, an infomercial on simpery. Are you a simp? Let's find out. Now before we get started and I give you my definition of a simp, I hope you have liked and shared this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when all the dope Mr. Flip Flop videos are coming up as well as the lives. So my definition of a simp is basically a man who puts a woman on a pedestal, going above and beyond for her attention and her approval. Now also that man could be one of those dudes that likes to chase and tries to do his best to keep her attention. They really don't be in a relationship. He wants it, but she doesn't. So that's kind of my definition of a simp. They kind of crave and chase. Some of them use money and gifts to keep the woman interested. So that's Mr. Flip Flop's definition of a simp. Someone who puts a woman on a pedestal, using money and gifts to chase and keep the woman interested, even though the woman's probably not interested in reality. So if you have to ask, you're probably a simp. <laughs> Let's go on down in the Sim City and see what's up. Now, what are the signs that you might be a simp? Well, first sign, no particular order at all, is wanting to be liked, catering to a woman to earn her affection. As I said, most simps crave attention, will chase a woman to get their affection or attention. So wanting to be liked, that's one of those simple signs you might be doing that yourself. Now, as I said, no particular order, but another sign, and I had to word this the right way because I didn't want to offend anybody, but I have to be honest, this is kind of simpish. Offering to pay for everything. Figuring that money will make her like you. Like, and I'm gonna give you an example, guys. You may not all like this, but be honest. Buying a drink before having a convo. Yes, buying a drink just to talk to a woman. You're basically saying, hi, I have something to offer you before we talk. Yes, I'm willing to provide. That is simpish in my, my, my definition. So offering something just to have a conversation now i know we we buy drinks all the time but my thing is i want to meet you and talk to you before i buy anything yes you can have a drink but what's your name what's your number blah 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 let's get in the convo but a simp will send the drink first hoping to have a conversation later he's basically offering for a conversation another sign is never having conflict always wanting to please and agree look we all need stimulation, the good and the bad. And don't get it wrong. You guys know drama's everywhere, but I like a good argument every now and then. So always wanting to agree, never wanting an argument. That's usually kind of a simp sign right there because you're always wanting to agree and have that woman never mad at you, always pl being pleasing towards that woman, putting on the pedestal. Welcome to Blifo. <laughs> As we run through the checklist, some of you are like, man, I might be a simp. Well, let's get into more right now. We'll see. So, putting her first and over yourself. Basically, as I said, putting on a pedestal. But always catering and never meeting your needs. Now, you guys know how I say things that you have to be selfish in order to be happy. So, a simp would make sure she's happy and put himself down and not cater to his own needs. So, you might be simping on that level. Think about it. Now, I'll tell you guys this. A lot has to do with confidence. A lot of men lack self-confidence 
Some men are insecure. Most men are insecure. Let's be honest. So I don't really get into the alpha and the beta. For those that have to talk about alpha or beta, you might be a beta having to worry about if you're an alpha. You are what you are. I just believe it has a lot to do with self-confidence. Being a simp allows you to be controlled and abused by women. Some people are simps because it's safe. You feel good in that situation. You feel good being abused and being the underling. You don't mind it. So sometimes a guy will be a simp just to have that woman's attention and be under her because it's a comfortable space for some people. Not myself, but for most simps. Now, I will give you a couple of examples of simpery that I've personally experienced. The reality is this, most simps just don't understand women. Then again, most men don't understand women. You know, you'll put her on a pedestal because of her ass and titties or whatever. But the reality is you just have to understand women. Now, I'll get into two quick stories about simping to give you guys an understanding. So let's get into the stripper. So I had a friend in Atlanta that was a stripper. Always go hang at their house, chill drinks, whatever the case may be. So I would go over to the house and there was this guy in the back room. I actually nicknamed him Guy in the Back Room. So as you guys know me, I'm a, I'm a bit of a leader. I handle myself a certain way. So Guy in the Back Room noticed this and he waited till I was alone so he can come talk to me. Guy in the Back Room goes, hey, Greg, listen, I really am in love with this girl, but you know, she doesn't give me any time, any play. I'm going, Guy in the Back Room. What the hell are you talking about right now? Well, as it was explained to me, we were in Guy in the Back Room's house. He owned the house. He went to work two jobs every single day to give this young lady money. She slept in the room with her cousin, as she told him, and Guy in the Back Room was just deeply, madly in love on Simp Level 10. I, of course, cannot tell him what the truth was, but as I listened to Guy in the back room, I realized the guy in the back room gave all his money to this woman, signed over his house to this woman, did anything this woman wanted just to be accepted and to be pleased. His pleasure was going to work breaking his back every day to bring this young lady money. Simping at its finest. Now, also, as you guys know, I've been around and back again. So I also know another young lady who, huh, real personal to me, but who was able to always get around ballers and rappers. Now we would kick it a lot and she would tell me, man, these ballers go crazy. They really be bugging out. So one day she calls me. She's at the hotel waiting for one of the ballers to get off of practice. I don't know. I ain't going to say what team. I ain't going to say no names. But let's just say this. This baller wanted her so bad that he had her wait for him to get out of practice. Now, this chick right here, I had nothing but respect for her. She had all these dudes wanting her, but she would never just give it up to anybody. You had to really work for it because she had money too. So basically, this particular baller, he's got good money, pretty much a star in the league. And he says, you know what? While you're waiting for me, take $20,000 and go shopping. She's like, okay. Now, what does she do? Of course, she doesn't go shopping for $20,000. She takes a couple thousand, buys a couple things, pockets the rest because... What idiot's going to just give a young lady 20000 This guy did. So lo and behold, this dude didn't get none the first night, didn't get none the second night, flew her back home to her crib, kept hollering at, kept texting, said, I'm going to come see you when I come to your town. Got to her town, died to see her, but she was busy. She has business. Well, flew back after another game and a day off to see her again. Said, you know what? Let's go out on dinner. Took her out to dinner. Took her out shopping on a $50,000 shopping spree. Still didn't get none. He just was dying to have her. So just for you guys that think that broke dude simp, well, rich dude simp too. And they simp very well. So those are my two examples about simping. <laughs> guys, so in closing. If you've checked off any of those boxes, if any one of those stories sounded like you, then you might be a simp. Listen, being a simp ain't easy, 
I don't know if it's fun. I wouldn't know. The problem is you have to love yourself and not put the vaj above your head and shoulders. Keep your head about you. Keep your mind straight. Keep your money right. Um, for you guys that are simping, maybe we'll have a course to help you stop simping and make you an ex-simp. If you want to continue simping, keep doing it. But as I said, go back, watch the video, and you do your own checklist. If you're simping, kudos to you. If you're not, shout to you too. So hit that like button, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for more videos. Mr. Flip Flop, I'm out.